<laughs> what? It's definitely going to be bloopers at the end of this. What is up, guys? I'm here with Laura, and I'm going to give her the worst possible driving lesson. Isn't that what you normally do anyway? <laughs> I'm going to do this to Laura so that you can see what should never happen in the car while you're on a lesson. Hey guys, I'm Laura and before filming we've discussed the inappropriate behaviour. If you recognise any of these things in your lessons, we will tell you what to do about it at the end of the video. And by the way, everything I'm about to do is from stories we've actually heard from you guys. It's time to call this out and it's time to make it stop. Right, you can put your seatbelt on now and let's begin the lesson. Uh, okay. All right, let me, let me help you with that. Oh, let me oh. help, yeah, let me help oh. you with that. Oh, there you go. Oh, okay. There we go. Okay. Oh. So that's done? Okay, thank you. How did that make you feel? Didn't like that at all. No? Yeah, this is my personal space. Yes. You, you did not need to lean across me and Didn't take need my to enter off. your personal space. No Only reason I need to enter your personal space might be to help you steer away from an accident. Yeah. Never to put your seatbelt on. Never to put my seatbelt on. If I need to give a demonstration of how to put a seatbelt on, I'll do it myself and get you to copy me. Excellent. Let me try that again. Okay. I can do that myself, <laughs> yeah, you thank you. Anyone can put a seatbelt on. If you've never been in a car or put a seatbelt on in your life before, it's not that hard. No one should need to help you. All right, great. Now we've got our seatbelts on, let's move off from the side of the road. What do you need so, to do first? I'm going to prepare the car into gear I'm gonna <laughs> well done very good oh we're in the wrong gear there oh let's try that again no Second. that is not okay all right really good just continue to the end of the road nope a little bit close there i'll oh, help you with oh. that there we go Okay. space there for you to reach the wheel if you need to reach the wheel you Absolutely. don't need to touch my hand it's perfectly okay for your instructor to help you with steering if there's something safety critical going on but there's enough steering wheel for them to reach if they need to uh yeah just keep driving to the end of the road uh yo certainly bro now I filmed a video with Laura. It's pretty shit. Pretty shit. No, no, she's cool. She's cool. I don't need to concentrate. She's alright at driving now. She just went for an amber light, but it's all good. She might pass a test. I don't know. She'll pay me at the end anyway, though, so it's fine. Whoa! Oh, oh, bloody! Oh. <laughs> Nearly breaks for you then. <laughs> Too busy on the phone doing a stupid joke. What was, was that? Why was you on the phone? I was on the phone. I was talking to my mate. Oh, I think. Oh, oh, I think I'm in the wrong lane. You didn't tell me where I was going. You was too busy on your phone. I was too busy oh, on my no. phone. Oh no! Now you feel lost, frustrated. I'm lost and frustrated. Uh, yeah. You nearly, nearly entered the roundabout. Just wrong. Killed us on the roundabout. I was in the wrong lane. You didn't tell me where we were going. You were no. just too busy on your phone. I was too busy like, on my phone. I've paid you for this service and you're just not teaching me properly. I'm not, am I? It's not okay. I'm not teaching you properly because I'm not focused on the lesson. And what that caused was you didn't know where you were going. You were confused by the time you got to the roundabout and you nearly killed us. I wasn't ready to press my brake if I needed to. You wasn't even looking. I wasn't even looking. You acted late, but also I saw it late. What you need to remember, guys, is that whilst you're learning to drive, responsibility is shared between you and the instructor. Just because you're behind the wheel of the car, it doesn't mean that the responsibility is entirely yours. Your instructor shares this responsibility with you. Can you, can you put your phone away, please? And just, I'm just feeling a little bit lost here. Can you put your phone away, please, and actually do what I'm paying you to do? That might feel awkward, but on a driving lesson, it's illegal for the person supervising to use their phone the same way as it's illegal for you in the driving seat to use your phone. So, call it out. Laura, I told you before, you need to keep both hands on the steering wheel. But, Jeez, okay, how many okay, times? Okay. Oh, oh. Laura, focus. Honestly. It's like teaching a five-year-old out here. Oh, gosh. 
No need for the waterworks, honestly. It's just driving, it's not difficult. Ugh. Some people. No. Don't let your instructor make you cry. <laughs> Let's break, break it right down. <laughs> if your instructor shouts at you for anything, that's unacceptable. It's a safe learning environment in the car. You're in a confined space with someone. There's no way out when you're driving at 40 miles an hour. Only happy tears when you pass your test. So if your instructor makes you feel awkward, scared, nervous, or raises their voice at you, even just the slightest amount, that should be your last lesson with them. As a teacher, it's my job to get you to understand the subject matter, whether that be coaching football, training you in the gym, or learning to drive. If you can't perform the action, or you don't understand the material, that's more my fault for not explaining it in a way that you can absorb, than your fault for not understanding it. So if you're getting it wrong, that's more down to your instructor than you. Oh, let's slow down a little bit there. There we go. All right, foot down on the clutch. Let's lift it together. There we go. Yep. Uh, okay. Oh, oh. Uh, yeah, oh. end of the road. Let's stop there. Oh, stop there. Oh. Stop there. Right, cool. Oh. You're in, you're on the pedals. Um, was I not doing it right? No, I was just helping you. Oh. Did I need that help? Oh um. yeah, there's a cyclist coming. Let's stop oh. there. There we go. Oh, okay. I'm breaking for you, but we're just we're just doing it together. Mm. What was right? What let's set I... off now. Foot off the brake. What did I let's do sit wrong? Slowly off the clutch. What just like I that. Do? Just like that. Just like that. Do it with oh, me. There oh. we go. Okay. I thought I could do that already by myself. Okay. The only time that your instructor should be pressing the pedals is for a demonstration on your first or second lesson of how clutch control works or to stop you having an accident. It made me feel hugely uncomfortable. I thought I was at the stage where I could use the clutch by myself. I didn't realise I still needed your help with that. Well, that was pretty fucking stupid. Obviously, we're learning. Dickhead. Just, just, you're meant to be showing me the correct behaviour. Yeah, um, that was unprofessional, that wasn't was it? That was super unprofessional. So I unprofessional. did not like that. I'm really not enjoying this anymore. I'm sorry to say, I think I'm going to need a new instructor. Good call. If you had a teacher at school who shouted abuse at someone outside the classroom, how would that make the students in the classroom? It's the same environment that you're in now. At the end of the day, you're paying for a service and it's not to be shouted at. When somebody shouts at, shouts at another person, you just get a mental block and so you're not gonna then soak in any information that you actually need to know. Exactly. Let's turn left on the next road and then pull up on the left outside 57. Side number 57? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That space big enough? Yeah, yeah, Do don't worry. Just, just yeah, just pull up there. Okay. Um, okay. Just here? Yeah, yeah, right here, yeah. Um, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> two secs, two secs. Just put the car in park, put it into neutral, and put the handbrake on. Wait there. Where are you going? Oh. Just be, I'll be two secs. A little longer than a few minutes later. All right, great. Cheers, just had to pick that up. Oh, okay. Cool, drive have on. We, have we still got time to practice the bay parking that I wanted to practice today? Um, if we haven't, then we can do it next week. Oh, okay, I thought that was, I thought that was what today's lesson was. Yeah, I just had to, you know, do a, do a little quick errand. Okay. On your time. But that's not okay. No. It's not, is it? Super unprofessional. So unprofessional. And the amount of times that I see instructors sitting with a pupil outside a chip shop or outside a Chinese or popping into somewhere and just the pupils left on their own in the car. Super is unprofessional. Is there any time that that's appropriate? No, it's not okay. I'll have lunch on my time and I'll teach you on your time. Guys, these might sound absolutely crazy. And if you've got a good instructor, you would never dream of them acting like this. But I recently did a post on social media with someone telling their story. And I asked for your stories too. The response that I got shocked me. This shouldn't be happening. We should all feel safe on driving lessons. If this is happening to you, it's time to act. It's not okay. There are so many good driving instructors in the industry, so many. This is the small minority, but it's the small minority that gives us a really bad name. These are common stories that we've been told by our own pupils. 
They may be similar to things you've experienced. You may have experienced something completely different. Don't be afraid to get in touch and tell us what you've been through. And you can share your story by commenting below. If you feel like your instructor has been inappropriate with you, feel free to reach out if you need some advice or just a vent. At Driving School TV, we're always there. Our DMs are always open. If you need to take it further, we are all licensed and regulated by the Driver Vehicle Standards Agency. If your instructor's been behaving inappropriately and it's really serious, and you want someone to do something about it so that it doesn't happen to anyone else, contact details are below. I mean, it's crazy to know that people actually pay for driving lessons and have experiences like that. And don't do anything about don't it for do 40 about hours. It. However, there's some pupils that, say for example, they've had the same driving instructor from the beginning to the end. They don't, sometimes they're not aware of what is inappropriate. Yep. That's true. And it's not until they're open or they change instructors for another reason that they realise that the way that they've been treated has been inappropriate. For sure. That first one, the seatbelt grab, that's great. But that's a real story. She was 17, had no clue that that wasn't okay. So she had that at the beginning of every single lesson. And the thing is, these inappropriate behaviours can come as early as controls lessons, cockpit drill lessons, and they can continue on through the whole syllabus of driving just wrong for sure guys thanks for watching even if we just bring awareness for one person's benefit with this video job done don't forget to like comment subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell so you catch all of our latest videos and we'll see you in the next one peace nice. <laughs> that was really good I actually thought you were crying for a second. <laughs> yeah, go on then. First gear. <laughs> Can't laugh though, it's not supposed to be funny. Dickheads! <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it again. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Dickheads! <laughs> we're not, not going to get this one out, are we? <laughs> we are, we will, we will. Had enough of your bullshit! <laughs> <laughs>